in this video uh, we are going to prove some more inequalities using lagrange's mean value theorem or first mean value theorem let us look into the first inequality we are uh, considering in this video so first consider martta irtakkantadu b minus a by square root of 1 minus a square is less than sin inverse b minus sin inverse a is less than b minus a by square root of 1 minus b square where a is strictly less than b which is strictly less than 1 so now we need to prove this inequality using lagrange's mean value theorem so to prove this inequality see it is clear that we can consider the interval a less than b i mean we can consider the interval of this form a b a b and the problem is what should be f of x that is very much important so if you look into this here we have sin inverse b and here we have sin inverse a so this you can treat as f of b and this you can treat as f of a so i think you got the idea so f of x should be sin inverse x solution solution put put assume or put f of x equal to sin inverse x defined on f of x equal to sin inverse x defined on closed interval a comma b then then f of x inverse trigonometric function sin inverse x and cos inverse x are continuous on any closed interval so f of x is continuous on closed interval a comma b and differentiable on open interval a comma b and derivative of f of x is f dash of x is equal to 1 by square root of 1 minus x square now by mean value theorem by lagrange's mean value theorem there exists a point c between a and b such that such that f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a right now f dash of c that is 1 by 1 by square root of 1 minus c square is equal to f of b that is sin inverse b minus sin inverse a by b minus a call this as equation 1 call it as equation 1 now come to this point we have we have a less than c less than b right that is from c belongs to open interval a comma b so a less than c less than b see your aim should be this idinna new node concentrate madbeku 1 by square root of 1 minus a square matte 1 by square root of 1 minus b square that should be in your mind so idu baro tara nan iga modifications martta hogbeku 1 by square root of 1 minus a square matte 1 by square root of 1 minus b square so obviously squaring will be having a square less than c square less than b square multiply both sides by negative sign so minus a square will be greater than athwa nan nige repeat minus b square will be less than minus c square less than minus a square now add 1 on both sides so we'll be having 1 minus b square less than 1 minus c square less than 1 minus a square now taking square root taking square root 
taking square root. See, we have a less than b less than 1. We have a less than b less than 1. So, we have b less than 1. So, b square will be definitely less than 1. So, 1 minus b square. Okay. From this, minus b square greater than minus 1. If you had 1 on both sides, 1 minus b square will be greater than 0. So, definitely you can take square root. If you take square root, will be uh, getting same argument can be done for this 1 minus a square. So, square root of 1 minus b square will be less than 1 by square root of okay, one minute. square root of 1 minus b square is less than square root of 1 minus c square is less than square root of 1 minus a square. Now take inverse. Now take inverse that gives you, you see if a less than b less than or less than illa you know yes. Then taking inverse the inequality reverses. So, 1 by square root of 1 minus a square will actually do square root of 1 minus a square in the dot dito. You get a chick less than square root of 1 minus c square which is less than square root of 1 minus b square. But square root of 1 minus okay 1 by square root of 1 minus c square is equal to sin inverse b minus sin inverse a by b minus a. Okay the substituting that here 1 divided by square root of 1 minus a square is less than sin inverse b minus sin inverse a by b minus a is less than 1 by square root of 1 minus b square. Now multiply throughout by b minus a that gives you b minus a by square root of 1 minus a square is less than sin inverse b minus sin inverse a is less than b minus a divided by square root of 1 minus b square. This is what we actually need to prove. So, this completes the solution of first inequality. So, second uh, the solution of this is exactly same as the first one. Second one, prove that, prove that for 0 less than a less than b, b minus a divided by 1 plus b square is less than tan inverse b minus tan inverse a is less than b minus a by 1 plus a square. Okay, I think now you are familiar to solve this one solution. So, you can easily guess the function. Put f of x to be tan inverse x. Very good. I have to put f of x to be tan inverse x defined on closed interval a comma b. Then f is continuous on closed interval a comma b and differentiable on open interval a comma b. Thus by Lagrange's mean value theorem there exists a point c belongs to open interval a comma b such that such that f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a. Right? So, this implies f dash of c that is you have f of x equal tan inverse x derivative of tan inverse x 1 by 1 plus x square. So, instead of x I have to write c. 1 by 1 plus c square is equal to f of b that is tan inverse b minus tan inverse a by 
B minus A. You have to keep this in mind. So if you want, you can call this as equation one also. Now, same as previous problem, we have zero. Okay, not zero. A less than C less than B. Now keep this in mind. That implies. A square is less than C square less than B square, which implies one plus A square is less than one plus C square is less than one plus B square. So taking inverse, one by one plus B square is less than one by one plus C square less than one by one plus A square. Now one by one plus C square is S. Substituting for one by one plus c square. Substituting for one by one plus c square, we get one by one plus b square is less than tan inverse b minus tan inverse a by b minus a less than one by one plus a square. Now. Just multiply uh, the inequality by b minus a, so that implies b minus a by one plus b square is less than tan inverse b minus tan inverse a is less than b minus a by one plus a square. That completes the required proof or required inequality is proved. So this is how we can prove many inequalities using Lagrange's mean value theorem. Thank you for watching. Thank you.